Hey guys, how you doing? So, WordPress. I was looking around at some job statistics in terms of web development, front-end frameworks like React and Vue, and I kept seeing WordPress pop up open over and over again. WordPress, 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 WordPress. So what the heck is going on? I thought WordPress was dead, it was garbage, nobody used it. Nothing could be further from the truth. Now, before I get into the nuts and bolts of this video, I'm not out here to say you should go learn WordPress. What I do in a lot of my videos, I give you the perspective of somebody who's been writing professional code for about 30 years now and dispelling a lot of the myths that are out there. What you're gonna find is that now that the web has been around for decades, a lot of the technologies that we don't hear much about, there isn't much hype about them, but they're so entrenched in the ecosystem of the internet and the web that they're not going anywhere anytime soon. So WordPress is an example of that. This is a technology that boomed, I guess in the early 2000s, and it's just so deep into the matrix of the web. This is nothing special about WordPress. You find any technology that has been around for a long time, where companies have invested a lot into it, they're not gonna drop it because something new came out that may be 10% better or 20% better. For a new technology to replace an old technology, it has to be much better. There has to be a super compelling reason for a company to drop that entire investment to incur all of its extra costs, all these hassles, to move to a new platform. It takes a lot. So one of the things I did is I went to indeed.com, and you go check it out yourself, and just searched in the USA, I searched WordPress jobs. I got nearly 3,000 returns just on indeed.com. Now, if you look through some of the, a lot of the jobs, it's WordPress is one thing that they want, but it's an important thing. You also see that the salaries range quite a bit. A lot of people think, oh, WordPress jobs are just cheap. Well, well, cheap WordPress jobs are cheap. If you're just doing simple, basic stuff, of course, you're not gonna get paid much. But if you know what you're doing and you start doing more sophisticated WordPress implementations, then all of a sudden the pay will uh, adjust accordingly. So if you look here on indeed.com, I found a listing on the side for uh, freelance or contract work rather as a WordPress developer. And you see up to $75 an hour non-negotiated. Now, if you don't know what that is, that's about $150,000 a year. This is as a contract. So this is you working for somebody. On the other hand, if you understand the game of a freelancer, you understand how to be an effective freelancer and you develop a business, you could probably see your salary double. Because if you are working for a a company and they're billing you out, they're paying you 75 bucks the hour. That means they have to make at least double that, which is $150 an hour, to make it worthwhile for them to hire you. So that means that's $300,000 a year. So if somebody is getting paid 75 bucks the hour as a WordPress developer working for somebody, that means that job is actually worth about $300,000 a year. So the key is, so the key is, is to become a freelancer and to make that money yourself. There's many different ways you can apply WordPress. You can use WordPress.com, which is their hosting service, and they got all kinds of different levels and packages. So you as a freelancer, for example, you could leverage that depending on the needs of your client and implement that because it comes with support and all kinds of other things as well. Even if you're using a service like WordPress.com where it's one click, install, blah, 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 and they take care of a lot of stuff, a lot of companies, most companies, are gonna need some sort of professional who understands WordPress well enough to install this. Now, the advantage of WordPress.com is that it's supported, everything is clean, it's vetted, so it's, uh, the downside of WordPress is that it's, wild, it's a bit of a wild west out there in terms of you gotta be careful with the plugins and some of the themes. But if you're using WordPress.com, I would imagine they, they, they clean up for that, right? They protect you in a sense because you're, you're using a, a, uh, a service provider. On the other hand, you could do what is called self-hosting, where you go to wordpress.org, you can download the WordPress application, 
and install it on your own hosting service and manage it yourself. Whether you use one or the other depends on your needs, depends on the scope of the project, so on and so forth. If you have more flexibility when you install it yourself on your own, on your own servers and you take care of things, but then you got more responsibility. With more power comes more responsibility, which means there's more work for you potentially. So just keep that in mind. This, those are just two options off the top of my head where WordPress, WordPress can be implemented. Uh, the other way that you can use it is a lot of hosting companies will have one-click installs with uh, their control panel. So a lot of hosting companies will use cPanel or Plesk as an example. And you get their basic hosting package and you find they got a one-click one install of WordPress, boom, on your site. And uh, Bob's your uncle, away you go. Uh, you're up and running. Now, to be a WordPress expert, developer, it's a, an adjacent skill set than being a web developer. So you may be a master of HTML, CSS3, JavaScript, React, you may know Node, but, and that will help you to get into WordPress, but at the end of the day, I'm telling you, it, you still have to learn WordPress. The complexity of WordPress is understanding the application itself and its ecosystem. You, get, you understand when WordPress makes sense to use, when it doesn't make sense to use, you understand the plugin architecture, how to leverage the plugins properly. You may even want to, if you want to get really advanced, learn to build your own plugins. The plugins in WordPress, by the way, are like plugins in any other application. It allows you to extend the functionality of WordPress without touching the underlying code that's used to build WordPress. The big advantage of that is when they update WordPress with bug fixes and so forth, it won't mess up your own code if you had uh, made the mistake of modifying the root of WordPress. So that's where the plugins come in. Besides the plugins, you have to understand the ecosystem, the whole theme uh, ecosystem, which is vast. It's vast. Again, it's a double-edged sword. The WordPress ecosystem is a huge part of its value, but it's also a big part of, big part of the liability. A lot of the plugins are, are not necessarily the best written meaning you have to be able to vet them. This is where understanding software development, understanding basic PHP, how the WordPress API works, that's where, that's where coding comes in. Now, you don't necessarily need to be an advanced coder to be able to be a WordPress professional, but it does help quite a bit, especially if at least you gotta know your HTML and CSS, throw in a, some, a little bit of PHP, a smidge of uh, JavaScript and you're up and running. So there you have it. I hope I've dispelled the myth of uh, WordPress. Well, hold on, before I get into that. If you're not sure whether WordPress is used or not, just go look at the web statistics. You're gonna see that a huge percentage of sites use WordPress. Huge percentage, I forget what it is now, it's high. It's, it's at least 40%, it could be much higher. And you also find that WordPress is actually used by massive corporations like Disney and many others. So it is not some sketchy application that are only used by loser businesses. No, it's used by the biggest in the world. Doesn't mean you gotta use WordPress, it just means that for certain types of work, basically if you wanna put out content on a regular basis while having to hire web designers and contractors, WordPress is the way to go because you can output new, new, new pages pretty easily, which is a code editor, not even a code editor, a WYSIWYG editor, and away you go. So yeah, it has its place. All right, guys, I hope you found this video useful. I'm Uncle Steph at UncleSteph.com. I mentor people to become professional developers, coders, and I teach much, much more than that. My mentoring program is basically a download of my decades of experience as a software developer, as a tech entrepreneur, and so much more. And uh, it's all there for you. Self-paced learning with one of the more sophisticated, I can't say the most sophisticated, well, could be, one of the most sophisticated learning platforms out on the market today. That's my opinion, but of course I designed it and built it, so that's my opinion. All right, I hope you found this useful. If you disagree, have any comments or questions about this subject or anything else, feel free to link below. I have a Discord channel if you wanna join, it's a pretty good Discord channel. Links below, free to join. A bunch of people on there, good people, total beginners and experienced people, but there's a good etiquette there so you don't have to worry about getting blasted if you have any questions. All right, we'll talk soon. Code long and profit, everybody. One of my last days in Florida.